of Tap, you don't know a channel review. These are the topics for today. Elephant Man in major trouble and real VI interview. So before going to the topics, check out Chedel's hot pick for the day. Kick of the hype one, Bad Mind Year. Bad Mind, we uno make it to the year ya fa. We uno make it to the year ya fa. Yo la uno should have blood clot dead from last year. Uno go make it to the year ya. Bad Mind, we uno make it to the year ya fa. We uno make it to the year ya fa. Yo la uno should have blood clot dead from last year. Uno go make it to the year ya. Heard this. Me granny did warn me about uno. It's come on gin, kono mono. Yeah people, the young artist has sent me him song and from me hear it, me I say yeah, that song ya have potential, you see me? So people, let me know in the comment section what you think about the song, you see? Now, on to the first topic, Elephant Man, Jano, Jano. So a video surfaced on social media with Elephant Man and it involved a gun, check it out. Yeah, so after all of that go on, it looked like FLA get a hold of the video and did their investigation. So this is the news report when it just happened. Force detectives have in their possession footage of the incident which was circulated via social media. In the 8 second clip, a female is seen clutching what appears to be a handgun. For a brief moment, she proceeds to point the firearm in the direction of the entertainer as another woman and at least the three men look on. The woman then hands the gun to the entertainer. It's understood that the firearms licensing authority has also launched a probe into the incident as it tries to determine whether the entertainer is a licensed firearm holder and if and when such a permit was granted. No, the FLA do them investigation on everything. So this is the new updated news report. In entertainment spotlight, dancehall DJ Elephant Man could find himself in legal trouble following a preliminary investigation with the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA. The investigation was launched following an online video which shows Elephant Man taking a firearm from a skimpily clad woman. According to the findings, the dancehall entertainer is not a licensed firearm holder. So what if the firearm is licensed to someone else? Tony and Kelly, corporate communications representative at the FLA, gives eSpotlight an update. We have conducted a preliminary investigation into the matter and have found that the entertainer in question is not a licensed firearm holder. FLA only conducts investigations on licensed firearm holders. So regarding the video, it is a police matter. It is a criminal matter. Meanwhile, numerous efforts by eSpotlight to get a comment from Elephant Man or a representative were futile. Last year, the Firearm Licensing Authority, FLA, advised entertainers to access the necessary information regarding the use of firearms as props in music videos. For Entertainment Spotlight, I'm Kishima Francis. Yeah, people. So, you can clearly hear say, Elephant Man, I got in a some problem because of this him don't have a license you see me he was never issued a license you see me so him not supposed to have no gun that the FLA are pre right now so we don't know how this is going to go for elephant man but him need to go get a good lawyer right now you see me so people make me know what you think about this in the comment section yeah but I am telling you about social media and everything for the planet. Jano. Anyways, on to the interview with Real VI. I mean, so I don't know how long I'm to work for this. I put a rain or snow for the money I'm going to pick it. Then I don't know how long I'm going to wait for this. If I open the door for the money I'm going to pick it. Check it. Me day a studio a work hard and a buy speak tune. Tell the radio to play me. Call me going for soon. But my people a trap me and try studying me move. So them say Peter can come shot me, but me not that soon. You don't see a pair of videos. Me get them on the scene. 
Yo, big up yourself in a real VI. Respect for the interview, you see me? What more I ask you first is how long you have been doing music professionally? Bless each other and give thanks to the strength. Big up all the fans them and all the listeners them. Yeah man, um I do music for a while now, you know. You see me I say? Um my, my voice my first song around age 14. So basically, you know what I mean? You can just kinda of judge from that scenario and them stuff there, you see me I say? And you don't know the thing go um we been a do music with, with, um with, with the opening acts um for bounty killer and them stuff the back in the days also. You know what I mean? So it's a while we are do music and I see that 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 number one song for the people them can take notice of everything where we are going with so far. But you know what I mean? The work is there. Cool, cool. The next thing I want to ask you is how you got the name Real VI and what does the VI stand for? Okay, um, yeah man, I'm gonna come by the name Real VI, all right. Meeting Bounty Killer back in the days, you see me, I said, because you don't know I come from Sea View, so, and Killer come from Sea View, you see me, I said, likewise, so, um, we did it one day up on the corner, and him, you know what I mean, he must say, yo, you don't see a VIP if you name to, to the songs that we all sing, you know what I mean, because you, you sing a variety of songs, you know, just sing one genre of song, you know what I mean, so, from there on, um, it was VIP, but then we come some books and drop off the P and just say VI. You know what I mean? And you don't know the VI stand for very important. You see me, I say? So that, that's basically it. You see me, I say? And when time we work on stage show and people see the great performance, then what we do, the people them can say very intense. You see me, I say? So it go both ways. You see me, I say? I just saw the thing, man. The thing versatile. But yeah, man, a killer give me the name otherwise. You know what I mean? Oh, mad, mad, the great killer. You get a name from the great bounty killer. Okay. So, where in Jamaica are you from? Where you originate from? Okay, born and grow in the popping era and leave um, popping at an early age, I should say. Come and see you and, and do most of my growing up um, here in Seaview and still living in Seaview right now. You see me, I say? So, you don't know, popping is a place, it's very musical. You don't know, Sizzler. Capleton and much more, you know what I mean? Um, when time I grew up, I used to can say Major Mackerel and Papi in Square and them and them people, you see me, I say Sister Nancy and them people. So, from ever since, I've been seeing the icons them and, and, and I was drawn to, to music like that, you see me, I say? And um, I must say, I'm from also a musical background because my dad is also a, a prominent member of the the, the the festival group Stanley and the Turbine, you see me I say so we've been as a music, we've been their own music, we've been a got to rehearsal them, you know what I mean? And we, we, we grew up under that umbrella wearing music was always in the household. So you know what I mean? So as I say, from Papine to see you and we, we they and I do the thing same way, you know what I mean? So me as a big up Papine and me as a big up see you. Okay. So would you say that your father played a major role in you doing music? Most definitely, you know. Most definitely, I have to say that because growing up, I him teach me stagecraft and you know what I mean. And most of the songs them from 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 back then, me learn them from him. You see me I say, yeah man. So most definitely, you know what I mean. My father play a great role in, in, in just um, enhancing my love for music and and everything that I see. You know what I mean. He always show me um, little tricks and trade when you dip on stage and how you engage the audience and how you for you know what I mean. Just, just just be just be direct with the, with the with the crowd and them stuff. They don't look don't look up, but just look down upon the crowd and you know what I mean. Interact. You see me? I say so. Most definitely. You know what I mean? Okay. So me did watch a nightly fix interview with you, and you did explain how you lost the ability to walk. Would I love if you could explain it for my audience? Well, um, you always hear the story that being at the wrong place and the rock at the wrong time and i was victim of that scenario so i said so um it was one morning wearing my come so boops and get up and you know what i mean i sweep up my place and leave my yard to go get a rake two yards away at my neighbor's yard and when i went in my neighbor's yard there were two gunmen hiding out in that in, in, in his yard you see me i said mass gunman so that's how i got shot I, I i walk in his yard and i was surprised by them you know what i mean so um, it's just me being at the wrong place at the wrong time, you know what I mean? It, it's too much time we hear about that happening in Jamaica and them stuff there and elsewhere, 
You see me I say? And we we'll um productive people. You know what I mean? People where I go somewhere. You know what I mean? In our life. But give God thanks for life. You know what I mean? So basically, we do here and I do what we love. See, we do positive things. And I help with family and friends. You see me I say? Honestly, when I watch the Nightly Fix interview, I said, Jano, yo, you're strong. You're strong. Because you lose the ability to walk. And you still keep positive throughout all light. And you're still there to do the work as an artist. You see me? So, you have a song where basically describe all the way you go through. Darkness to light. From darkness to light, we need a brighter day. Though we work so hard, full time we get the pay. We move into the light, into a brighter day. Bad song and the video bad clean well professional how did that song come about yeah darkness to light for real for real you know what i mean darkness to light is a, is a song that is very near and dear to my heart because um my basically i look upon everything both my struggles and and the struggles of the people in, in the country and what go on and them stuff there you know what i mean um People are forced to do things that they don't really want to do. To send them kids to school. People are sending them kids to school and they are losing life just with a cell phone. You see what I say? Me, me kind of put a lot of stuff um, that is happening now in our society. And the song is very relevant to the time. You know what I mean? Some people depend on cash pot just to put on them pot. You know what I mean? And, and, and stuff like that. So basically, me, me I talk about a bag of things in that song there. So, and as you say, yeah, you know what I mean? It, the, the, the visual, the video is very, you know what I mean? Very, very nice and them stuff there. So the video is on YouTube right now. So the fans them can go check it out, Darkness to Light. You see me I say? And we are looking for, for, for launch it on a, on a bigger platform, premiere the real way. So look out for that real soon. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, people. Darkness to Light. Bad song. I'm going to leave the link to it in my description. You see me? Now, the next bad song we have is a song named Celebrate. Tell me I celebrate me success. I only have one life to live. Know me I thank for the God. Talking for the life I live. Hey, boy. You know me never have been teasing, no. Only for rivers me cross. Climbing the mountain to success, yes. I know me standing tall. What's the inspiration behind that song? Yo, celebrate right now, me say. Big up Ireland Records, me say. Big up Earth Source Records, you see, me say. Cause me work with a number of producers and, and, and things like that. You know what I mean? But um, that song that was produced by Ireland Records, celebrate. It's just at a time, some, sometimes as an artist, it's just where you're at in your life. You, you, you just ask, you just. It is, it's a feel good moment and a feel good vibe so you just a celebrate you know what i mean and each each track that i get kind of speak to me in a different way so basically you know what i mean that's how celebrate comes about you see me so we just enjoy life you know what i mean to the fullest me give thanks for being here me give thanks for doing my love you know what i mean me give thanks for the strength of me i get into the industry you know what i mean and then and, and me just a, me just a give thanks me just a celebrate life you see me say because uh, many, many, many pass off and gone, you see me I say, and do, do me there, me some, some, maybe I wouldn't get even the opportunity to do my love, you see me I say, so having that opportunity now, you know what I mean, me just a celebrate day, you see me I say, and people can look out for that video there soon because we're going to shoot that video there, it's supposed, it, 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 we should have shoot it, um, sat there were gone, but, uh, be, um, circumstances beyond our control, we basically never get to do it, so we'll we push it back, but we're going to get it done, and, and, and drop it on the people them real soon. You see me I say so yeah man I just wolly up videos, wolly up new songs coming, you know what I mean? So the people them can definitely look out for that, you know what I mean? Mad, mad, mad. So people look out for the video for celebrate. Bad song. But real VI, I can tell say is a talented artist. You can sing well. Yo, when you perform, you entertain the crowd. What more I ask you now is you believe a talent around dancehall are just hype? I would definitely say it's a little bit of both, you know, you know what I mean? 
yeah, um, you have to have the little hype thing, boy. You know what I mean? Where draw the people them attention because remember, you know, it's an industry where it's very competitive. So the saying goes, "What makes you different?" But you have to have talent behind it. You see what I say? And you, you, and, and remember, it's an entertainment business. So you have to entertain. You have to have talent. Some form of talent. You see what I say? And um, basically. You, you have to keep the people engaged because remember if you if you say all right then man i post nothing past social media for the month yeah. remember in here, you people forget about you you know so me i say so it's like a monster you constantly have to feed it every day people look people depend on the internet every day so you know you have to keep the fans them engaged and keep them up to date with things that is going on in your world as an as an artist individually you see me i say so that's why me personally, I'm, I'm my label Earth Source Records. We we definitely stay upon social media and keep it because social media is the is the platform for everything. Anything that you're doing right now, you have to be on social media. You see what I say? So we try to engage the fans them and keep them engaged and up to date with everything that is going on surrounding real VI and the brand. You see what I say? So yeah, most definitely. But um, I put out talent eventually that get watered down and that get pushed aside so real talent will always live on you see me i say real music will always live on don't care oh i'm gonna say yo oh in bus yeah no watch your in bus because every if you have a road for every man so that's you continue upon your craft and then stuff that so that's what me i do focus upon what me i do because my thing is no gimmicks you know what i mean my thing is no gimmicks what what set me aside is me being a reggae dancehall artist doing it from a wheelchair standpoint that that is enough that set me apart from the the, the, the rest of people then you know what i mean so at the end of the day i am unique in my own right you know what i mean so at the end of the day we, 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 just, we just continue to do positive song and you know what i mean sing for the ladies them you see me i say call from your, from your engaged ladies them you can't go wrong you know because anyway what if all ladies them the man them follow you know what i mean so <laughs> i just that's our thing there no comedian thing and no mediocre thing you see me I say? Just like when the people them come to books and see me perform with Jada Kingdom, a man in Blitz. That show that. You know what I mean? A whole heap of people say, yo, I would, I would have a brother there in the wheelchair, Jada Kingdom, a wine pan. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when them check the background, them realize that, yeah, he's an artist. So, no gimmicks, no other thing, brother. Yeah, man, well said, well said. Remember when you have Jada in your lap, man. <laughs> you know how much man I envy at that moment. Jano, big up yourself, Jada Kingdom, bad artist. Now, what I want to ask you about is, you did post something on your Instagram and it was about a disabled girl and she was chased out of a store. You believe Jamaica a treat disabled people unfairly? All right, and I respect the question the way you asked because I only for journalists or vloggers now do them homework. You see me, I say so. I'm glad you see that part there. You see me? So, so um, I wouldn't say Jamaica people not treat um, disabled people um, um, fairly, but I just a few because it's always a, a handful of people you know try to make the the, the, the whole mass of people look bad. You see me? I say, and the government need to need them, them put certain things in a law, but it is not enforced. Cause when things is enforced, you know, you have to go by it. You know what I mean? Them input them, them, them put a lot of laws upon the book. You see me I said them have the disabled law and all of them stuff there, but they are not enforced. How can uh, there there are places with, there are so many places in Jamaica in Kingston where where, 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 where built and, and it's not wheelchair accessible. You know what I mean? And that alone tell you say we, from where we are come from. And another does know Jamaica people are um, um there are disability people in our in our community. You know what I mean? And disability people play a vital role because me, for one, I do a great job. I do bully for charity. You see what I say? I go, I go out every day, I pay my bills, I do things in the streets. You know what I mean? I don't depend upon another one to come to books and help me. I'm a self driven, self motivated person. I do everything for myself. You know what I mean? I don't have a housekeeper and I don't have a babysitter. You know what I mean? So nobody babysit me. Me do my own thing. I go in and out of, of vehicles without no one help. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, big up all the people them down at Mona Rehab. Big up all the people them who have played them part, um, who have them family and them look out for them and them now just carry them go leave them on the streets. You see me I say, but we need to be more sensitized. 
You see me I say? And I can bet say that person, the, the, the store owner where usher the little girl out of, the, uh, 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 out of him or her store is not even a Jamaican because when you're looking at the stores, them is mostly Syrian looking people or Chinese looking people. You know what I mean? You really find a store where a black man own. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if Jamaicans now look out for Jamaicans, or you expect say another uh, another nation to treat um, Jamaicans. So, but you know what I mean? For the most part, we are get there, and I will always use my platform in music to echo that sentiment and to voice my opinion and 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 just the injustice and the, what what needs to get done more about um, those disabled people right across the board, where they're blind, uh, deaf. You know what I mean? Walking. Whatever your circumstance may be, you know what I mean? So we advocate the same way, man. Yeah, man. So it's a good look, you know what I mean? Pick up yourself. And as me say in a channel, a whole heap of challenges we face the same way. Even me in the music. So basically, as, as a performer, promoters wonder how me I get on the stage and forget on the stage itself. But me tell them, say, yo, me have a wonderful team and a whole heap of friends were ready to lift me to whatever heights the stairs and the stage may be you know what i mean so at the end of the day promoters not to worry about that just book real via and, and give the people them a good show because talent over everything else you see me i say yeah man up up top up top yo no i tell no lie when me usually attend the university of the west indies the persons who had disabilities yo me usually believe say them have superpowers because you usually have couple people with it blind and when they walk through the school they walk fast they walk faster than me and they move like they must see 10 times better than me you see me Jano big up to all persons who have a disability you see me yeah man so it's it's like that you know what I mean people you know what I mean? We have to do what we have to do. You see what I'm saying? And them say when you lose one, one sense, you know what I mean? The other is a sense them heightened. So it kind of make you more aware and more uh, agile in other ways. You see what I'm saying? So basically, I just that. You know what I mean? So I'm saying big up all to all of the people who I fight the struggles every day and, 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 and have yeah, faced obstacles but still I overcome the obstacles them day by day. The struggles is real. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Mad, mad, mad. Well, the final question I want to ask you is how you feel about the current state of reggae music and dancehall music in Jamaica? You feel it's going in the right direction? Yeah, man, freedom of expression um, in the music is very important. And artists, the direction where the music are going, uh, you know, say, them say nothing new under the sun. And back then, people did say certain things in the music where some people never agree with and it is it is like that today you know what i mean but the only thing is most of the artists them latch on for a thing we are in them feel like if them say certain talk about certain body parts in the music it get them a left it get them a leeway because them they might say certain um artists were bust already i got a i got a medium there and it a work for them you see me i said but i can't tell you this i do a lot of interviews internationally and locally and you know the international radio station, them, the radio station them overseas, eh? them not play them something there. Them not play them something there. I'm mean, no one a joke. You see me? I say because every time when me I send um, um, Sangogi people, them always I say, is it clean? Make sure it's it clean. Um, no, none of the, none of the um, um, profanity and all of them stuff. That people them not want to hear that. So also man thing, some man only around them at a Jamaica, you know, brother. You know what I mean? And that the artist them understand say, at a Jamaica, it, it, it's not even Jamaica. Some man run run competition for run to be at a Kingston. Cause Jamaica 14 parish and you those want at a Kingston and Portmore. Come on man, do some positive song we're gonna last forever. You see me I say, look on look look on Jack Your, look on Bushman. Them not for have a at song, them not for put out no song for the ear. Look on killer. You see me I say? Killer do some song and him do some other song. But which song keep him up throughout his ears now? Killer not have a hot song. You see me, I say, no disrespect to the general, but him do a whole heap of song where set him foundation already. You see me, I say? So basically, him, him good. So me, me for one, me I put forth good music. I may not take the easy route, as they, as they would say. You know what I mean? Me know so when my glory come, it's going to be right. You see me, I say? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Well, I truly talk about the positive, clean song them. 
them always last longer than the one with the bugger explicit and under girl and them thing there, see me? But the one them with the under girl and them thing there, still in demand, you see me? But the clean song them will stand the test of time. Bob Marley show you that. Enough big artists show you that. As we say, Jack Your Sizzler of that catalog as well. Keep it on them. And you have this newcomer now. Coffee. She are just 18 years old. And she have a big song named Toast. Yo. The song is well positive. And I know the song is going to be a big song. 10 years, 100 years to come. It's just going to be a big song. You see me? So, a real talk you yeah, make. You see me? No. What I want you to do right now is make the people them know which new song them can look out for anytime soon. Well, currently, I work on a new mixtape. You see me? I say? But they won't call it EPR mixtape. But I look to put out a portion of songs for, the, for the, um, the ladies. Them Still, you don't know. Them can't expect social commentary songs from me just the same because you don't know where, where all these are things and a vibe to things. And a, a, you know what I mean? I have a story to tell and them stuff there. So basically, we're going we're to we're we're do that. You know what I mean? The ladies them ask some more songs. So you don't know. So we have fixed up all of that. Give them. We have, we have things like um, Rich Man's Wife. You know what I mean? We have, we have things like. Um, just a bag of songs, you know what I mean? So much, so much different topics. You see what I said? So much different topics. But the ladies, them most definitely, we have the songs them coming. We're just, we're just in the studio right now, Earth Source Records. You know what I mean? We are mixed up the song them. We have a thing with, um, with Esco got released for me. You know what I mean? Left side, from, from left side and Esco. Esco got released a song on him, um, go look at work. You know what I mean? So I just, I just whole heap of things. You see what I said? Whole heap of things, man. Whole heap of production, same way, man. So the people them can definitely look out for that. You know what I mean? Mad, mad, mad. Well, what I want you to do right now, I just make the people them know where they can find you on social media and then I want you to do a freestyle or a acapella or want you to sing them a big up channel review. You see me? Up top. I mean, so the people them can check me out on Instagram at realv.i. You see me? I say? On Facebook, you know what I mean? VI Watson, you see me I say on Earth Source Records on Facebook and on Instagram also. You see me I say, hey, don't know in a channel. You see me I say the thing loud and above the cloud and we are say, channel them no know how long we are work for this. How could a rain or snow for the money we are go for it? Channel them no know how long man I wait for this. We fly out on tour for the money we are go for it. Hey, we the a studio I work hard and have I speak tune. Tell the radio if you play me, cause we going but soon. Bad mind people are chaps we, I try study we move. Them send gunman fish shot we, but we not die soon. You know see appear at videos, we give them pan the scene. When you look on your cable, also pan Chedel TV. Them no know how long man I work for this. Mad something, you know. I mean, I said, big up yourself, Chedel. You see me, I said, whole earth source massive, you know what I mean? All of the team, them. Real VI, bless up. Yeah, this is a real VI there, so, and I will have vibes over upon the beach, you don't know what go on. So, here we go on. I get ready to drop my hot song for the girl, them, right now. I think called Wine on TikTok, some more. All of the females, them, what? Make a video towards a song. Starting from the 1st of February, make a video, upload it to your IG, and tag me in at realv.i on IG. You see me? So, 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 just link me right there, so, our Earth Source record on IG. You know what I mean? So, go to YouTube. Download the song Wine and TikTok. You see me as a feature in myself, Real VI, I View and Seen a Killer. Cause that song you get ready for drop right now, and we are gonna do a bag of things with that song. And you never know what is in store for you. You see me as a if you have the best video. Some of all of the sexy ladies, them what? Ooh, wine and TikTok. Ooh, wine and TikTok. Mm. Don't flick on the car top. She a wine and I do it as she non stop. Ooh, wine and TikTok. Yeah.